with the promise of diamonds. Remember that? We were in that ravine. It was going well. Got overconfident as usual and then died. There were diamonds. Yeah, I know. But there was a there was the promise of diamonds as well. But it was a real promise. It was a real promise. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can test this out and see how we go. But we're all connected up. This is the maiden voyage. Wow. <laughs> oh my lord. My god. That was close. <laughs> Where the fuck was he? They know. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Wee! <laughs> it's safe too. We don't have to worry about dying. Okay. The way down enjoyable, very enjoyable. Yeah. So you really need to light up and fence the outdoor rails too. Yes, we will. Okay, this is the way up now. Right. Okay, so we get up to here. Uh, and... And then we have to like readjust these slightly, right? We have to bring them down one each. God, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Okay. All right, so that comes down. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's every, it's every actual four. Because we're not going to have enough puff to get to the top. Uh, so that means that that can go. So that's one, two, three, four. God, that's not really annoying, isn't it? Well, luckily we just have to do it once and then it'll be sorted out, right? We might need a couple extras. One, two, three. So it's one up here. And then one, two, three, four. Nice. One, two, three, four. So this has to come down one. God, we saved ourselves a little bit there. It worked out nice. I guess it was bound to happen at some point. Um, okay, let's go like that and like that. Get that in. I can hear lava. One, two, three, four. So we need one here. And then I think we can just leave that other one there for the last hurrah, right? Oh no, we can't really. One, two, three, four. So it's got to go here. We're not quite at the last hurrah yet. Okay, and then this one will need to be spaced one, two, three. We'll have to put it up here because this will be the last one, which may or may not work. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how it goes. Maybe if we put a double, we can like get double the speed. I don't know. Does it work like that? Not really. Ah, it should work, right? It should connect up to it. Okay, let's go try it out. We should be good here. No. Just double it up for a double speeder. Okay. All right, ready? So this is us heading back up to Grand Central Station.
Nice. Smooth ride so far. Good. Ah. Oh. Incredible. Okay, we've done it. Really good. Real nice. I like that a lot. We've got plenty of stone in here too. Perfect. All right, so then we just need to like, if we're going to do a, a double one, we'll, uh, yeah, we've done it. We didn't die either in the process, which is nice. Um, hey, Mubinski, thanks for the bits. And, uh, and Eden War Worcester, thanks so much for the bits as well. Well, well, we'll look what the cat dragged in. Yeah, that's it. Enclose it. Yes, we will. We'll need to make some fences and lights and get some lanterns along the way and stuff too, right? Enclose it. Um, we'll put some wood on the side, I think. Like keep it, keep it closed off. Maybe like even tunnel it a little bit with like some, um, with some fence or something like that to keep the creepers out. Use stairs on top sides of the tunnel. I got an idea actually. I think I know what we're gonna do. So we might need to go do some lumberjacking. Another thing that we need to do is we need to start finishing the house a little bit too. So we're gonna need to like get some more stone and stuff. Fix this enchanting area and other stuff as well, right? Um, okay, let's put some stuff away and let's grab some planks. We need some planks for out there. We're going to need some fences, I think. So let's put some diorite, andesite, gravel, all this stuff in here. We got stone, polished andesite for when we go back down into the, in there, gunpowder, redstone. We don't need to carry around with us, but fences and stuff. Yes. Rails, I think we're fine for for now, too. We don't need to carry these around. And I'll take some iron with me because, holy crap. We're running low on stuff. We're going to have to go do some more mining. We'll have to expand our mining operation. And also, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get stuff up here. We're going to need to make like a, uh, what's this? A cart? Mine cart? A mine cart with a chest or with a hopper? So how does the mine cart with the hopper work? It doesn't have an You're inventory? Right, it, what? It just, the hopper connects to the mine cart next to it or something? What's the most subs I've ever had? I think it was like 4,200 or something. Can we have a break? Is there a TNT cart? Oh yeah, there is a mine cart with TNT. How do those work? Don't pee on my phone. No. So please fence off the tunnel before crafting. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to fence off the tunnel like in a minute. Um, okay, so fence. Birch oak fence. Oak fence gate? No. Not an oak fence gate. We want some oak fences. Ten oak fences. That's all we can make. We need some more sticks, I guess. Okay, 55 of these bad boys now. Alright, so what's the best way to make it so that nothing can can get in here? We have like, um, we have some wood and then fence. Okay, so I'm thinking, right? It might be expensive to make too, but we can do something like this where we have like fence that goes like that and then. <laughs> It's going to look dumb as hell though, isn't it? It's going to be really expensive too. And then stuff can still drop in, right? Is that no is that no good? It's a bit low as well. Yeah, I guess. So maybe we just do it so that it's like a glass tunnel. Hmm, a glass tunnel could be good, yeah. Chant your armor before the mine cart takes another life enchant my armor I don't quite uh, I'm not quite at level 30 yet though trap doors for the roof
a trapdoor ceiling? Does that would that look good though? Or would it just look really dumb? The hopper cart catches falling items. If you want a chest cart with a hopper underneath the track to move items up and down. Okay. All right, Neil Cork, thanks. Thanks for the info. Okay, what are we going to do here? How is this going to look? How is this going to work? What kind of roof are we going to have on here? We're going to need like some sort of roof to protect all this. And then some fence. It's, we only need roof like here. Because you don't want them dropping down here, right? Just don't want any drop downs. The rest of it's all roofed in already. Make it colored glass. What the hell? Who's got time for that? So I'm going to dig this out here to you. Oh yeah, we gotta do it like all the way, don't we? There's just so many bad guys. There's so many BGs. Oh. I mean, I might as well grab some of the sandstone along here too, right? Because we kind of need some for the rest of the house. I don't want anybody dropping in on me though. That's the only thing. Uh, okay, good. So we can do... So we just want to like... Clear the edges here, right? So that nothing can just drop in. And then fence it up. It's more economical doing it like that. I'll grab all this too. I might as well. Okay, and then I can just dig all this stuff up. Yeah, that'll be better, right? And then, um, what's this? Dirt? Dirt and sand. Okay. So then we can just fence off like that. And then we'll put lights and stuff on too, right? Nice. So we need a roof up here for sure. Because stuff can drop down less. Unless we extend the patio out and put lights so that nothing gets up here. We could do that instead. But actually, if we just like clear the trench to the side here, nothing, stuff doesn't drop down like, uh, it's not going to jump over, right? Unless it's moving with some speed. Glass. Fence around the cliff. Can fence the edge of the roof. Nothing can drop down in the first place. That's true, actually, yeah. Make myself a nice veranda. Mm. That's nice. That's a nice thought, actually. A nice veranda would be really good. Can make like a, a bigger what can we have out here though a place to relax and entertain guests <laughs> in hardcore minecraft it'd be nice right no that's not what we're looking for nobody's ever gonna come and hang out at our house because we're all alone
So if they fall down there, I just don't want them to get into where the actual cart is, right? It's a real beaut, isn't it, Clark? Love that. Loving it. We'll make it real safe. Okay, good. We doubled up. Okay, good. Um, right, so... Um, what else do we need to... Um, we, we'll just have to like fence it off up here a bit, I think. Otherwise, we'll have to make some sort of roof that I don't really want to make. You could kidnap some villagers to be my friends. How do I kidnap them? How do I get villagers here? You need to build a wall. That's true, yeah. A boat. Make a glass roof. Get a boat. You put them into a boat. How do I pick them up and put them into a boat? Daddy Mongols. Thanks so much for the 10 bucks, man. I appreciate it. Stuff is going to walk right over the top of that. You can cure a zombie or push them. Ride a boat on land. You push them. Make a hot tub. Mm. Yeah, a hot tub is a good shout, actually. You could really do with having a hot tub. I would love a hot tub. We're gonna have to go do some more mining soon. Running out of diamonds here. Ran out of oak planks too. So it's all lit up in here, isn't it? So we gotta try to light some of this stuff up around here too. So that stuff doesn't necessarily spawn here. So we can have like a torch there, one there keep that lit up and then let's have another torch like there and then we can have a torch uh, on there and then let's have one uh, there too <laughs> okay hopefully hopefully that's pretty good and then we can have a torch there too and we'll replace them with lanterns after oh uh, any deaths today oh there's not been any deaths today luckily Okay, so stone and stuff. Let's put all this stuff in here. Uh, coal can go in there. For that sand, all this stuff can go in here. Bread we'll take with us. Fence can go in here. Dirt can go in here. This chest, this stone. These can go in. I just need to grab some torches, which we have a lot of. And some diamonds so I can make more stuff over down there so i'll grab some sticks as well sticks you think we're gonna do any fishing while we're in a cave not likely is it it's not likely that that's gonna happen uh where are the sticks there's no like inventory sort is there there's no way to sort like your inventory like in a chest there's no chest sort is that like a mod you need a mod for that I need like some wood or something. Okay, birch planks will do it. Sticks. And then I'll grab some coal. I'm going to need some more torches for down there too, right? It's a mod. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so I got bread and all these books and glass and stuff. We'll come back up here and do the house. Work on the house after we've done a bit of mining, I think. Okay, that should be good. We'll take some birch planks with us just in case too, right? Um, yeah, good. Okay, that's like way too many torches, but it's fine. It's better to have uh, more than not enough, right? Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll go we'll go down and do some mining. What's up, Minecrafters? Oh, I didn't bring my bucket. Right. 
should have a water button with the lava. I missed the fuck ton of sticks. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Let me go get this bucket of water. <laughs> the button to build all in the inventory. Make 64 torches at once? I have no idea. I think you just hold shift. At least that's how I do it anyway. Okay. Let me go get this, but I'll sleep as well. So that we don't have like any intruders at night. Once the compound is secured though, it's fine. After you die next, make a modded world. If you right click it, it makes a full stack if it can. Okay. Where's my water bucket? Ah, it's here. Okay, let's take this water bucket with us. Uh, white Hi. wool. Hi. Sips. Yeah? It's me again back from work for you worth streaming again. Glad I could cast you live you great old bathtub. I hope you're having a superb day. Best of luck to rest of the stream. Wide people happy. Hey, thanks very much, Danny boy, dude. Um, thanks for the donation, and I'm glad you're back. And thanks very much for that message and everything, too. Really good. Which world number are we on? Five. It's our fifth. Died many times. Stupidly. We've had some really dumb deaths recently. Uh, these ones are all mined out now, aren't they? So we're going to carry on down here. We don't have a crafting bench or anything down here, do we? Could probably do with having one. Just like so that we can make like um like for instance, I could make a minecart with a chest. Right? Like say I brought like the right materials down, and then I could just send that back up. And that would be fine. Ah. Oh, look at this. Found some iron straight away. Feels good, man. Some redstone right away, too. That also feels pretty good, man. Yeah. I like that a lot, man. Okay, good. Okay, we're back on it. Gotta get... Gotta remind myself that I have this bucket. So in case we run into any trubel. Cause I think you can you can put down a water bucket um to make like a, almost like a shield. Because mobs won't go in the water, right? So if you're being chased by like ten dudes, you could put some water down and then you could just like snipe them from the other side, right? Yeah? Am I right about that when I say that? Does that sound about right? Seriously, man. Yeah. No. Mobs will swim, but they're slow. Right, okay. So that's... I'm not right about that, then. You're doing great, Dad. Okay. Sorry about my lisp. I hope it doesn't bother you. Smile. No, it doesn't at all, actually. I find it... It's, I like... Uh, you know, in a, in a world of, like, uh, social media perfection, I find it reassuring that... Some people have uh, lisps. You know what I mean. It reminds us. Um, it's a it's a nice reminder to all of us that nobody on this planet is perfect, and you should embrace your imperfections, because they're what make you you, right? Like you're, maybe you got some fucked up ass teeth or whatever. Fucking, you'd look crazy without them, right? So like, just just roll with it. If you got a lisp, who cares, man? Like, you're probably nice anyway, so it doesn't matter. Nobody cares about a lisp. And if somebody does care about a lisp, you know what? They're not even worth knowing anyway. Who cares? You don't want to hang out with, like, some shallow-ass person that doesn't even like a lisp or whatever. Fucking... I, I embrace your lisp. And your crooked-ass teeth and your small penis and all, all the other things, right? Yeah? Yeah? Lisps are your kink. Right, okay, well, I mean, I draw the line at that. There's no way. I mean, some people... Wait, is there... 
are there ASMR people with lisps? And does that is that like a good thing for people who like to listen to ASMR and get that um, get that like tingly feeling on the back of their neck? There are, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And you learn something new every day, right? Feels weird, man. ASMR. It's not for me. But you know what? If you like it, enjoy. There's even more for you now that I'm not listening to it. Or maybe that's not how quite how it works. <laughs> you know what? There'll be more pineapple pizza for you, though. And that's definitely how that works. There's a number of pineapple pizzas in the world. And you know what? You never have to worry about me eating them because I wouldn't. So that just means more for you. Right? Right. Got a tingly feeling in your balls. What, when you think about pineapple pizza? Nice. I get a tingly feeling in my stomach, but it's more of like a, a barfy feeling in my stomach when I think about pineapple pizza. But again, it's just a personal, it's a personal thing, right? Pineapple pizza, I don't, God, fucking, how? How the hell do people eat that? It's not right. It's like putting chocolate sauce on your pizza. Who the hell would? It's too much. It's too sweet. I like pineapples, for the record. I just don't like them on pizza. It's the same way I wouldn't put like uh, coffee on my cereal. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean I don't like coffee. It's just like those things just don't mix very well. Coffee cereal, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Come to think of it. Mm. God, I could really go for some of that right now. Thank you, Sip. That means a lot. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks. Thank thank you for uh, all the donations and stuff. I appreciate it. Um, true story, though. Recently, I've been eating cereal with... Uh, normally, we just get, like, semi-skimmed milk. So it's, like, what? Like, 1% milk? North American milk? So it's, like, you know... It's not like full fat milk. It's like, you know, it's like half, I guess. And it's pretty good. It's kind of watery or whatever. But we, we've always fed my kids whole milk. Because, uh, you know, like when they're small and stuff and they're growing, it's really good for them. Especially because my kids don't eat meat. So um, it's, it's nice for them to get, like, uh, the extra fat and stuff, too. My kids aren't fat. But, um, but uh, it's good for them. Anyway... Um, I have started having whole milk on cereal, and oh my god, it transforms cereal, seriously, if, you, if you're not having whole milk on cereal, give it a serious try, it's amazing, it tastes much better, and it's so much more filling as well, man, I like a bowl of cereal uh, with uh, whole milk, holy crap, I get through to like dinner time on that, it's nuts, it's really good, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how it tastes better or whatever, but there's what's the difference? There's just more fat in whole milk. It's like uh, it's not skimmed at all, uh, but it's uh, it's nice. It's like it's not cream. It's not like full cream. It's like just you know, whole or milk. It's really good. Ugh. Okay, I guess we're. Um, I guess we're doing that. It is done. Ah. It's just a room of lava. Sure. Now it's safe. Um, okay, let's start building uh, like a bit of a wall here so that we don't have to worry about torching up too much. Now we've dropped down a level. So actually we're on level 11 now. Just check the sides here for diamonds. There doesn't seem to be any. Usually there's diamonds close to lava though, right? Does that mean that we've come through? Oh, we haven't even broken all the way through here. So it's a two. So it actually go here. We haven't come all the way down this shaft yet. You're doing great, Dad. 
So my girlfriend got out of the shower yesterday and started complaining that her breasts were too small. Right. This time, I decided to suggest she rub paper between them. She asked why that would work and I said well it's worked for your ass, didn't it? Diaresis diaresis sedilla. Oh my god. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Dr. Fritz. And Danny Boy Dude, thank you very much for all the donations as well. <laughs> Rubbing paper between you. <laughs> I don't get that. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of get it, but Jesus. Is that the implication is that because she wipes her ass, her ass got bigger? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. She's got big ass because she wipes? She should wipe. Oh god, I don't really want to be here, do I? Just in case there's some lava under there. But I do want this XP. Okay, it's safe. Nice. You have a fat ass and wipe? Nice. Good for you. How, um... How does that work when your ass is, uh, is really big and you wipe? Is there more smearing than normal or what? A couple more smears than you would normally expect? <laughs> what a question. Hey guys, just wondering. <laughs> It's like wiping a marker, right? Good. What what happened to this mine shaft? Am I going the wrong way here or something? Like or did I just not finish this one? I thought I finished it. Ah, here it is. Okay, good. Connection made. If you don't wipe you're filthy. Absolutely. You should wipe. It's really gross if you're not wiping. So that means that uh, this one here can be dug out too, and it hasn't been. Ah! Riches discovered. Okay, I got some more diamonds already, so we should be good for pickaxe and stuff. And we're almost ready to do a... a Enchant. I think enchanting our pickaxe first will be the good one, right? It'll be the one that we want. Okay, we're getting a lot of iron here. That's good. Let's plug this up. Plug this up and then we'll get a torch in here. And then dig through this other shaft. Oh, nice. Do you not get XP for iron? You get it for coal. But you don't get it for iron? I don't think I've ever had XP drop for iron before. Or maybe I haven't. I just haven't noticed it. Oh, you get it when you smelt it, right? Same for gold. Great. Simpson Jersey whole milk is what co color carton? It's the yellow one. It's like uh, you, you can only get uh, the pint sized ones. Came to the stream and saw Sips and Hardcore buy it in the title. I'm disappoint. Oh, right. I see. Don't buy it all, though. I need, I need to leave a couple behind if you're going to buy them, all right? The magic yellow milk. Yeah, yeah. It comes in a yellow carton. So the blue carton is like 1%. The green carton is 2%. The orange carton is skimmed completely skimmed and the yellow carton is whole and then you can get like full cream and stuff not in cartons like in like the little tubes or whatever 
Anybody else have any questions about how Jersey Dairy um, markets their products? <laughs> I, I'm in the know. Never worked for them before or anything, but uh, man, I drink a lot of milk. I love cheese as well, and uh, just dairy products in general. I'm a big fan, so uh, and if you have any other questions, just uh, feel free. Just launch them at me, you know? I'm ready. Bag or bottle? Carton. It's like, uh, it's, I they think they used to do them in bottles. They used to have a milk float that delivered milk to people's houses and stuff too. Back in the day, it used to be glass bottles with like a foil top. And uh, the seagulls used to like, if you left your milk out, you know, if you're at work or whatever, and they left your milk on the doorstep, seagulls would like peck the um, the foil tops and uh, eat the cream at the top of the milk. Fucking assholes, eh? It's island life, baby. You gotta love it or leave it, you know? It's just like uh, born on the 4th of July, but island edition. That's the kind of shit that happens over here. Seagulls drink your milk. My brother-in-law was eating a uh, sandwich outside the other day. True story. The end. Uh, no, he was eating a sandwich outside the other day and a seagull swooped down and just like took the whole thing right out of his hand. And uh, it's always like a thing. Like we have barbecues like in our my backyard and stuff. And my, my wife and my mother-in-law are constantly like shielding food and saying like you got to be careful the seagulls are gonna get it and i'm always like yeah all right we've had like a million barbecues out here they've never swooped down like uh they'll be scared of me i'm big and stuff like that my brother-in-law was like much the same um and now that that's happened to him he's a changed man he's a food shielder now now that the seagulls have taken his sandwich he's just trying to enjoy a nice sandwich shoot it down <laughs> with what a, like a scud missile. <laughs> Fucking seagulls, there's so many of them. When we were in um when we were in Bristol, I, I I don't think I finished telling you guys about the seagulls that we saw in Bristol, right? We were at the venue, we were outside and we were looking at them. And they the seagulls they don't work together, okay? Never. What they do is they um they have like they have good positioning. I'll say that about seagulls. They they position well, like on the rooftops and stuff. So it almost looks like they're triangulating like open diapers and stuff. But if they spot one, they'll never tell another one that they've seen it. They swoop in and take it for themselves. But like every high point you can see around you, there was a seagull perched, ready to like just swoop down and eat a diaper or whatever it is that they eat. Really fucking gross. God, I hate seagulls. They really are rats in the air. Uh, pigeons at least are kind of cute. Seagulls are not cute. They're just really gross. And vicious too. God, so vicious. Okay, I'm gonna knock this through so that we have like a, a way in because we can finish off all these mine shafts as well, right? Get some torches up here. Because these ones can be built through a little bit more. Just keep that open like that. Um, and then, But then let's like close these bits off. I don't want any gaps. I, I don't want like zombies to spawn or anything like that, you know? And then we can use up some of this cobble too. We're going to have to go back um, soon. Inventory is getting pretty full, but I also need to make another uh, pickaxe. So I'll go down to the... Which way's out? Oh, it's this way. Let's go down to the end here and I'll make another one. It's going to literally break in a second. Yeah, I know. I'm heading back now. So if I jump like this, is it faster? Whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta enchant our boots, right? Get like feather fall or whatever on it. Caves are definitely more efficient. You think so? Inventory management. I know, I hate it so much. Okay, let's get some sticks here. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Okay, good. We're, we're good. And then 
Hey dad, loving the stream. Good. Girls are a lot like parking spaces. All the good ones are gone, so when no one is looking, you stick it in a disabled one. Ah, oh, Charles the Panda, how could you? Thanks so much for the donation, man, but Jesus Christ. Lenny, thanks for the donation as well. Oh my God, chat, they are in the walls. There, you can see, you can hear. Oh my God, they're coming. You cannot stop them. Seven, 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 seven. Thanks, Lenny, I appreciate it. And uh, also, thanks for the donation. Me, a uh, last name... Grow, thanks so much for the donation as well. Much, much, uh, much uh, appreciado. Thanks for the donations, everybody. You're the best. I think there's bad guys all around us here. Oh, is it, um, this is son, son of Jesus. This little guy doing? He's trying to run into safety down here. There's lights everywhere. Get out. You're doing great, Dad. Fuck me. Hey Sips, shut your skin tone, chicken bone, Google Chrome, no home, flip phone, disowned ice cream cone, garden gnome, extra chromosome, metronome, full blown monochrome, student loan, Indiana Jones, overgrown, Flintstone, X and Y, hormone, friend zone, Sylvester looking guy. Man, this is fucking sick rhymes. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for those sick rhymes. Okay, so we can just process all this stuff in this furnace, right? The flow. Mark Della Toro Higgins the third. Thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate that. Real nice. Real good flow. Sips, by the way, you will not get XP if you hop out the ore from the furnace. That's okay. We're doing so much mining down here. It probably doesn't matter. Can you believe that we filled this whole chest up with stuff? We've got so much redstone. It's insane. Okay. Let's just dump some of this stuff. Uh, uh, actually, just fucking dump it here. It's fine. We'll just dump all this shit here and get back down there. And... Gotta get some more stuff. Should you replace the furnace with a blast furnace or have one of each? Yeah, yeah, we're going to. Let's do a bit more mining and then we'll do some more stuff like that. How long can I personally look at the sun? Uh, not long at all. I'm a vampire, so I get out there and I instantly start going crazy. It's, it's a real problem for me. That's why I stay in all day and play video games. I just have to. What the hell? What's this? We're running. It's not working. The track is scaring you. No, this is the safest track we've ever made. What a sensible, right safe mineshaft. Exactly. We've mm -hmm. made a... S Sips. What's the largest sized animal you'd punch in the face? Uh. Also, what's the largest animal you'd eat in one sitting? Asking for a friend. Largest Lots of love. Largest Less than three. Largest animal I'd eat in one sitting. Good question, Gaz. Um, what's the largest animal I'd consider eating in one sitting? Probably like a duck. Or like a small pig. And the largest animal that I'd punch in the face would probably be, like, a Jack Russell Terrier. Uh, I, th I think I'd be confident punching one of those in the face. Anything bigger could potentially kill you, and uh, I don't want to be killed. And also, I used to have a Jack Russell Terrier. I'm not saying that I ever punched him in the face, but... I feel like because I've owned one, I have a better reading of them and what they're capable of doing. And I feel like if I ever did punch him in the face, he would probably bite me, but I think I would be able to cope with the bite, you know? But, like, at the same time, I know I kick dogs in video games and stuff, but I'm, I would never, like, hurt an animal. Especially now that there's, like, so many st streamers and YouTubers with videos out about them, like, abusing their animals and stuff. <laughs> I don't want to get caught up in that shitstorm. So, uh, for the record, man, I love animals, and I would never punch or kick one or abuse one in any way, shape, or form. And shame on those people that do. Sons of bitches. God, fuck, uh, fuck me. Except for cats. No, no, not even cats. All animals deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. Don't ban me. Um, well, it's not like any of these other people have been banned. It's fucking such a double standard, isn't it? I mean, you can't have a picture of a, 
of a dude holding a basketball over his crotch. He's fully naked, and on the basketball is a picture of Lewis's face. That is uh, almost bannable, apparently. But you can abuse a cat, no problem. Apparently, that's that. So if uh, you're ever, if you're ever looking for a safe place to abuse your cat, I guess, or dog, uh, I guess Twitch is the place to do it. <laughs> but. No pictures of dudes holding a basketball in front of their genitals. You gotta be punching seagulls. I don't know if anybody would care about somebody punching a seagull. Honestly. I think that would be wholly acceptable. The problem with a seagull is that it would fight back for sure, right? It would be squawking and pecking and everything. Like, it would be nuts. Alright. Good. Lava be gone. The seagull would fuck you up? Absolutely. Without a doubt, a seagull would fuck you up. If you tried to, like, uh, chokehold it or anything like that as well, it would go nuts, right? It would just go crazy. Remember, like, uh... When Eddie Murphy was talking about getting into fights with people, and he said, um, the key to fighting somebody who's bigger than you is to just act really crazy until they decide not to fight you or whatever. That's what seagulls do as well. I think that they just act nuts and they put people off wanting to fight them. I want I want these shafts to be perfect, you know? Just want them to be perfect. <laughs> I don't want to like go I don't want to go off piece too much. Start working on another shaft when I've got a perfectly good shaft to work on. Fuck me. This is lava. You're doing great, dad. Oh, this is the unpopular opinion. I really like the post streams. Also, here is a joke for you. Why are Americans so bad at chess? Why? Well, they're missing two towers. Oh my god. Man, oh man. This what these fucking jokes today, guys. <laughs> Sips uh, is a glass cock face thanks. slipper wielding like deep bachel gather upping blade more blethering gemeral Jesse O fluck inch tune and I have plucky shan milk drinking soy face shilp at mimoothed snivelling wormied hot and blouth vile stucci cali breek tatty. Thanks very much, Dr. Fritz. Oh my god. Lady Kupo, thanks for the donation. Hello, Dad. Meeting you at YogCon was the highlight of my year. I know you hear this loads, but your content has helped me through such a hard year. Stuff just wasn't going right, and therefore a heartfelt thank you. P.S. I own a Jack Russell Terrier, and his name is Pixel. Okay, listen, uh, Lady Kupo. Uh, it was great meeting you, too. I had a really good time at YogCon, and trust me when I say this. I will not hunt down and punch your dog, okay? I, I just won't. I've got better things to do, unfortunately. And uh, But he sounds really cute. Jack Russells are really great. Except for... The only time they're not really great is when they eat tinsel off of your Christmas tree. And uh, get stuck in their gutty works. And then they're sort of like... They take a shit and they drag the shit around with a piece of tinsel. like, And they do that cute thing where they wipe their ass on your carpet trying to like get the tinsel out that's not cute i don't find but otherwise yeah they're great right they're really cute dogs they're good pets very territorial though if you don't train them well um they they could be a real pain in the ass to take for a walk as well they do that goddamn thing where they're just choking themselves constantly you know like you have to have them on a leash because they're crazy but then they're constantly choking themselves and pulling really hard. And I don't think we trained ours that well. Like, he was cute and everything, but yeah, he was really... Oh, auto, auto, auto asphyxiation or whatever. Yeah. He also liked to eat, like, piping, piping hot food off of uh, the kitchen counter. You know, like, say you were carving up turkey or something for Christmas. Man, he loved that. He loved um, he loved doing that. He would be crying and eating 
boiling hot turkey at the same time. He was just like so obsessed with food. Auto asphyxiation. Yes, that's the one for me. It's the one I like the most. All right, so we've busted through here and it looks like it's safe to carry on going. For some more. Ah, okay, we can enchant this pickaxe. It can be done. Looks like we got some more caves and stuff here. So let's light this up. And then we could think about maybe going topside. Oh. Where? Where are these bad guys? Oh, uh, they're probably around there, right? They can't get through because of the lava. Do we actually need gravel for anything, or is it just for getting flint and stuff? What looks it's a good good looking garden path. I feel like we're in the danger zone over here. Might be time to retreat soon. Get a an an enchant on this pickaxe. Let's get a bit more XP while we're down here. Okay, we'll do a safety rinse. Yeah, I think level 12 is better, honestly, for for mining. I think you avoid a lot of lava on level 12. And we got lots of diamonds and stuff up there too, didn't we? You're doing great, Dad! Alright. That'll do. Hey, thanks very much, uh, Bronze Whaler. Thanks for the donation. Hey, Sips, loving the Minecraft streams. Another joke for you. What is Al-Qaeda's favorite football team? The New York Jets. My fucking God. How are we still making jokes about fucking 9-11? Like, it happened like 20 years ago, for Christ's sake. Jesus. Fuck me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bronze Whaler. Thanks. Thanks. Mucho appreciado. Okay. All right, maybe a little bit more. We're going to need to get some mine carts down here to get back. Should we have like another hub? A further hub? Go give your balls a tug, you ticked fucker. Just kidding, Sips, how are you? I'm good. Just kidding, I don't really care. Oh, Jesus. What's going on today, guys? What happened? Is it like the? Is it? Is I met it, a Jewish girl a and she trip? asked for my number. Day for the, I told her for we the use funny names form? here. What? Just heard my neighbor. What? I met a Jewish girl and she asked for my number. I told her we use names here. Oh my god! What the fuck? Okay, this is where this is the end of the You're line for this one. Dead. Just heard my neighbor telling her friend that I'm a fucking creepy weirdo on the phone. Right. It's really pissed me off. I right. almost crawled out from under her bed to confront her over <laughs> it, but her boyfriend got home from work early. For fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, number 54787, thanks so much for the donation. Also, Gaz, thanks for the donation as well. Suds. Uh, thanks very much for the donation, and uh, everybody else, thanks for the donations too. Oh my god. Hat, fil Hat, Hat Films chat has come here. Wait, Hat Films, are they streaming today? What time is it even? Oh, it's like almost 2 o'clock. Are Hat Films streaming today? Does anybody know? <laughs> At 2. Right, okay. Oh, they're doing Hat Chat. They're doing Hat Chat at 2 o'clock? Right, gotcha. All right. That was uh, that was a pretty good run actually. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot more diamonds now. Maybe we get some more food. Yeah, I'm going up there right now. Hat chat or hat chat? I think they're just doing a chat. 
a hat to fill this chit chat. Do I eat ass? <sighs> Only every day. <laughs> Jeez. All the time. That's why I ate for breakfast. Why is there a torch in the middle of that room? I don't eat meat, no. But I do eat poo. Mm. God, I love poo. Uh, right, okay. So, um... Oh, shit. I just realized we can't... Where are those books? What do I, what else do I, fuck sake. Um, what do I need for bookcases again? Bookcase, bookshelf. It's two that I need, right? Okay, so that's the full enchant. Uh, so we put some lapis in here. We're gonna get unbreaking three? Huh? Unbreaking three, right? On this pickaxe? Poo is like eggs. That's, that's the one. Make a new one. Make a new one for it. Oh, really? Where in main hand? Make a brand new one. Okay, I'll make a brand new one. Hang on. So we're going to enchant a brand new pickaxe. For the best possible enchants. I'm breaking three. Yeah? Just do it. It'll say the same thing. Enchant it. Efficiency or fortune. It only gave me I'm breaking three and nothing else. That's not very good, is it? How do you get like two other ones? How did we get? Why are we getting scammed so hard? Chant another pick. I don't think I can. I don't think I have the um, the XP for it. I need to be thirty. Efficiency two. Enchant a book. What? How did we get it last time where I got like three enchants? That was awesome. Do I have any books? So I can I can I apply these to this that has I'm breaking three already? It's random. Wait till you're level thirty again and try again. It's just RNG. So do some books first. Um, do I have paper? Yeah. Do I have any hides though? Couple. Book. What do I need for a book? Just one hide. So I can I can do two books. And should I do two books? You're doing great, Dad. Sips, we are paying you so you have to sit through our offensive jokes. See By the way, did you know pigeons die during sex? At least the one I fucked did. Pigeon fucker six nine four two zero. Thanks so much. See you later, have fun. Bye 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 bye. Bye. Hi, my family are going to uh to this thing like uh that they do in Jersey every summer uh called the Battle of Flowers. You ever um you ever heard of that or been to it? Google it right now. The Jersey Battle of Flowers. It's like a parade with like fucking floats and music and they put like flower petals on the side and stuff. Yeah. Rip my pick. So um so I want to enchant books with what? Bane of of arthropods, protection one, smite four. These seem like bad ones. I don't want any of that stuff, right? How do I get like a different one? Did I just say pigeon fucker in front of my family? Yeah, they couldn't hear me though. Um, I don't like flowers yet. Wait until level 30. Okay. All right. I'll wait until level 30. All right, so we've got uh, much more redstone. Uh, we got a whole bunch of cobblestone and gold and iron that we can do with smelting up. Uh, I guess we just hang on to this pickaxe, right? I'm breaking, like pretty good. And use up the other one too. And then uh, let's grab some steak, some cooked steak. 
to replace this bread once we run out. That'll be good. And I'm holding paper for some reason. I don't need to be holding paper. Uh, perfect. And then we want to get rid of uh, some of this, this building materials and stuff too, right? Diorite, gravel, cobblestone, and a site. Go in here. Cobblestone can go back downstairs. Oh yeah, we don't need to go out this way. We can just go out this way. So we need some more XP. What's the best way to get XP? We need to move this enchanting room somewhere else too. 